So with this new series of video, we're going to get at the heart of the research in my laboratory. I'm standing here in the biology department of McGill University, but the research we do is in Panama. Uh, my main research site is a plantation. Uh, we've established it with about 10,000 uh, little seedlings, and we're interested in how we can recover carbon. So how can we put more carbon back on the ecosystem? I'm at about 15 meters of height. Um, in a, I went up a, t a tower we have in our plantation. We needed this tower to put some instruments. And uh, it allows me to show you a little bit the scenery of the plantation. So I'm going through um, the tower here. Um, and to give you a feeling of how fast trees grow in the tropics, our tallest trees are now some 25 meters tall, so much faster than uh, much of we, what we could do in Canada. So I'm in the field today with my field crew. It's uh, Jose with the red cap in the back, Santiago and Lady to the right. And today what they're doing is they are weighing uh, dead woody matter, we call that. So this is dry branches uh, that fell from the trees and we need to know how much uh, there are in order to be able to close the carbon cycles. What we're interested in here is trying to reconstruct what we call the ecosystem functioning. So all of these processes such as photosynthesis and production of litter, how do they interact to determine at the end how much carbon is stored in an ecosystem? And this is very important when we try to assess that at the broader landscape value. A key result of our work uh, is the fact that when we plant many species together, productivity is increased by about 30%. Uh, so individual trees, they prefer to grow with other species than with themselves. Something very exciting for us here in Sardinia is that we're now part of an international network of plantations like this one where we're growing many species of trees to understand the consequences of such tree diversity on the processes of ecosystem. So here we're, we're focusing on carbon, water, nitrogen, and some of these other experiments are in the tropics like Borneo, but also in the temperate zone like in Finland. Uh, this network of experiment allows us to get to the question of biodiversity. What's the role of biodiversity? And this is very important nowadays because we're facing an important crisis of extinction with a lot of species disappearing. So before these species disappear, we need to know what's their use in order maybe to be able to motivate action and, and save some of them.